Curious Reaction is, is Logan Paul in K KSS Palm Twin Wars the App by Jesse Taylor with wife. Like, the link to the video will be in the description below. Go in second mode. So let's into this vaccine in three, two, one. Amazon Prime just released their exclusive beverage line, Prime Energy. This is what Jeff Bezos drinks before he does your one day shipping. All the Amazon drivers have Prime in their cup holders, ready to chug a lug, <laughs> splurge on that shit and drop your package off of your door and take a picture to make sure you know it was freaking sent. Yeah, that's a load of shit. Guys, this is uh, Logan Paul and KSI's new sports hydration beverage. Uh, this is the new entry into all the new YouTuber products, which you guys are going to be seeing more yes. and more of as YouTubers try to own and control every vertical ever known to mankind for profit and gains. This is up there with like makeup palettes, Mr. Beast Burger, McJuggernuggets, Story Fire, shit. Who knows what we'll all come up with next. This just made a logical sense as the next step for Logan and KSI as they've been into the boxing yeah. world. Why not try and sell a product while you're training, while you're selling out these big fights? It only makes sense. What doesn't is calling this thing Prime uh, because if you Google Prime, all you find is Amazon or Optimus Prime or a million other things that have used Prime. I probably would have came up with my own word for this, like Splarf, Smoky. Something that if you Googled it, it would be unique enough and you could instantly find it, but maybe they wanted to hide it along uh, with some other things. I gotta give them both credit. It's Super colorful, it definitely fits in with like the YouTube yeah. clickbait thumbnail grind. Uh, it matches YouTube my hoodie, clickbait. so it definitely stands out. It definitely screams like candy. If they're going for the more healthy alternative to a sports hydration drink, I don't know, maybe not being so colorful, but hey, maybe there's real fruit juice in here. I don't know. Before I jump into the taste test, guys, I do want to say happy Super Bowl Sunday. Holy crap. How fitting that uh, I review some prime uh, hydration. I keep wanting to call them prime energy, but this isn't like a uh, Red Bull or Monster. This is supposed to be Red a Bull healthy Bull drink, and guys, by no means is this sponsored by Logan or KS or Prime. I'm pretty much yes. done sponsorships like across the board. I, I'm not interested. After shooting Storyfire for so long, I just like having to sell anything in, in some manner of speaking just pisses me off now. There are five flavors. I think there's a blueberry one and a uh or like blue raspberry. It's just the blue flavor. <laughs> uh, there's blue and the blue then there's a lemon level. lime, like classic Gatorade style. Now I'm super excited to get into this. And guys, uh, you guys really sounded off in my previous video. You guys like the real videos, like me just like down to earth, not many cuts in it, just talking for real, for real. So thank you for all the support. And guys, we're growing tremendously on this channel. So it definitely inspires me to do more vids. So drop some likes if you're excited for yeah, this. Don't so guys, I've drank Gatorade for my entire youth. Uh, I've also drank Powerade all sport you name it, it i've ingested it as a young man um i don't drink this kind of stuff anymore uh, i'm super healthy uh, that's why i have here my high quality h2o which is probably what will end up being the end all be all because we run on like gajillion percent water our bodies and brains i'm really? not sure i'm the current clientele for this wow. but what do you say i stuck up and uh, stuff this down my throat i'm very partial to the uh, orange gatorade flavor so let's orange see how it contends It tastes like candy. I don't tastes know if like I mean candy. that in a good way or a bad way. Look, the, to be honest, I don't know if I could even tolerate Gatorade or Powerade anymore. It's just so much sugar. You get one of them uh, thick boy Gatorades these days. Yep. That's that's like a, as much sugar as a damn Mountain Dew. I get it if you're like a marathon runner, you're some sprinter, and you're you know practicing endurance uh, sports or athletics for. 10 hours a day and you really need to get those electrolytes you know all the sugars and stuff i i, I get that yep. for most of us there really is no point in drinking anything besides water uh, i mean we're not training for the olympics over here which are currently going on so maybe this serves the purpose there yeah i mean immediately I, I'm, I'm definitely shocked i want to go over the uh, nutrition facts uh, towards the end of this video uh but just off the bat you always got to look at the sugar content there's only two grams of sugar in this which i have to question um, usually you have some kind of artificial sweetener or sugar substitute. 
I do not see anything in the ingredients list, which uh, just for the record, ingredients is actually spelled wrong on here. So I don't know if I fully trust this ingredients list. You know, it might just be chock full of stevia, which I, I have to question all the artificial sweeteners. They say stevia is healthy, but we end up restructuring our nutrition guidelines like 10, 20 years in the future. I remember everybody yes. was saying like milk was good for you or like smoking is good for you or drinking smoking. is good for you. Drinking. Carbs are the best thing for really? you. And and then we find I'm out just like and margarine was bad, uh, as a substitute for butter is the best thing for you. We usually end up uh, changing all this years later and, and we realize that, wait, that was the complete wrong information and this is updated. So as far as stevia being the go-to, I'm hesitant. There's a lot, there's coconut water in here. The vitamins in here are absolutely insane. Uh, you're getting 200% vitamin B just in one bottle of this. So uh, your poor liver and kidneys are having to filter all that stuff out. If you drink more than one bottle, Bottle, which there yes. might be kids just like pounding a couple of these in a day while they're gaming or something definitely not the intended use um, I would just be careful your liver kidneys having to uh, process all these vitamins that are contained in this yes. um, It kind of worries me just similar to um, G fuel G fuel I don't think is FDA approved and uh, gets marketed by a lot of influencers and it's probably one of the more cancerous beverages on the market Cancel. Uh, There's really no good nutrition there, and it's uh, mostly pretty as far as uh, overall taste, I, I, I feel the taste lingering in my mouth. Personally, I, I'm gonna have to go with Gatorade or Powerade. I, I feel more satisfied or quenched when I drink those beverages. I think the orange, the orange is only 20 calories. We have here 25 calories for Tropical Punch. I'm pretty sure Logan at one point said this was his favorite. Oh my, there's no way it's two grams of sugar. What is in this? Yeah, there's no chance that's two grams. Ah, 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 it's on my tongue. It's so weird. Now look, a lot of people I'm sure will suck Logan's dick or say it was like the best uh, thing in the world just for clout purposes. I'm just gonna be straight up as honest as humanly possible. Ah. Let me read this. Prime was developed to fill the void where great taste meets function with bold thirst quenching. <laughs> this sounds like Logan, the best podcast in the world, the number one podcast in the world. Refuel Prime is the perfect boost Ooh. by Dink Doin. <laughs> Ugh, let's try grape. A grape is never good in any candy popsicle flavor of any kind. Grape just uh, grapes are good, not grape flavored. <laughs> <laughs> It smells like I'd, I'd be genuinely shocked if these guys, Case I and Logan, were actually drinking this beverage while they trained outside of just like to promo it. Oh my, it smells like cough syrup. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna do like a little one for syrup. this one. Really? Ugh, it's like a melted. Um, what is that? It's like melted grape Jolly Ranchers with other natural Mortal flavors, uh, no artificial grape colors. Jolly How'd they get it? purple one. I don't know how they've done it. Back of my mouth feels a little chalky and just like, I'm not pleased. Is Prime worth it? No, in my opinion, no. Uh, I'll give Grape like a five out of 10. I just don't like, there's a weird aftertaste or just like a coating on my tongue that I just don't get with like Gatorade or Powerade or the traditional beverages. It's whatever the artificial sweetener is. I don't like that it's just not listed and, and, and I looked it up online before I did this video. I could not find any videos or research, no, no studies, nothing done on what is actually inside this. And I'm not even 100% sure how much you're able to list. I know there's a lot of weird nutritional guidelines that exist. Like I think Maybe. it's like in, in Canada, uh, you are required to list uh, trans fat um, in different products. However, in America, if it's less than 0.5 grams of trans fat, you are not required to list it on the nutritional guidelines. So a lot of foods, I remember smart food in Canada had trans fat in it, but here in America, it didn't list it because they didn't have to. So. The guidelines are a little more loose here. Uh, I'm, you know, it's crazy that they got it in uh, national distributors like Walmart, GNC. I think we got yeah, this from Walmart. GNC. I mean, I find that with other products too. Yeah, I remember uh, I tried I saw the out, one uh, for the first uh, time, Walmart. and there's little asterisks on different things. It's almost like the uh, fine print, if you will, on like certain contracts and things. It's like. You really don't know what you're fully getting. You're putting your trust in these people. So, well, is it worth it? No, probably not. Am I gonna drink these ever again? No, I, I just don't like it. It feels in my mouth. This is not something that fits into my lifestyle. 
maybe it does for you. And if you're somebody who already drinks Gatorade and Powerade and all those sports beverages, I drink, I drink maybe you want to try Polaroids. potentially alternating or swapping it for this one if it's something that you like taste-wise or just you want to support KSI and Logan. Uh, do I think this is going to catch on or become like super mainstream? Um, it, it really is one of these things that uh, sadly, uh, similar to Storyfire or other YouTuber products, uh, I, I do feel like it will require KSI and Logan to continually push the product and remind everyone that this exists um, and to get people to stray away from the incumbents like Gary and Powered, which is going to be an uphill battle. So it's yeah. going to be something they're going to have to push or it'll kind of fade out. And it might be one of those things that they might potentially have to jigger the recipe a little bit or have just some creative marketing all of a sudden release a new flavor or potentially even do what G Fuel has to do and start to do uh, different creator flavors, yeah. you know, all of a sudden. Uh, Jake Paul comes in with a uh, actual like green flavor that's like green apple or something and green you know get him to promote it on his next boxing match. Great job uh, Logan and KSI for uh, branching out and uh, trying this product. Um, wish you guys the best of luck. Our McDurganites over here. <clears throat> I'm good. I'll stick to uh, my water. Even if you guys, if I if I do ever do like a food review on here and I'm like eating a fast food burger, <laughs> just mind you, I might like be like, guys, I don't ever eat this, so it's gonna taste like trash. So if you go out, with, go without soda for a, like years and years and years, and you have a little bit of si a syrup in that soda, it's just like. Oh man, but you want what you're eating to be quality and you want it to make your brain and body feel better and yeah. especially especially when it comes to a sports hydration beverage you want it to be healthy. It should be healthy. This shouldn't be a like candy tasting beverage disguised as this hydration uh, technique. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm sure nobody's thinking health-wise when it comes to the Super Bowl. Eat, stuff your freaking face, right? Get your wings, your ribs, enjoy yourself. There will be a new video on the McJugger Nuggets channel coming out tomorrow on Valentine's Day. So get hyped for that. Drop some likes and videos, subscribe, guys. Let me know if you've tried the beverage, what your thoughts on it, or let me know if your gut you intend to try it. But anyway, guys, we're gonna have some giveaways on this channel to come. We're talking cash giveaways. If you guys been killing it with subscribe, and the views and go bangles no i don't i don't know football <laughs> i don't care i don't care but i think it'll be a close game i don't know we'll see see you guys <laughs> and drop a like if you want me to try the the palm energy drink drop a like and if it is enough likes i'll be twice <laughs> It was is Logan Paul in K KSS Palm Drink Water Up by Jesse Teller this way. The link to the video will be the description below. Go and check them out. And drop a like if you like. And comment down below if you want to see more reaction like this. And subscribe if you want to. And click the button to be notified when the upload in the month. Bye.